Hello everyone, welcome back with another anime review. Knocking another one out here that ended for the spring season of this year. This is One Week Friends, or Ishukan Friends. One Week Friends, now before I get into this review, I just want to say, everyone says this, so I feel like I have to as well. This really reminiscent of Fifty First Dates. Um, except for, uh, you know, uh, kind of. There are obvious, obvious differences, though, obviously. But anyways, though, it's based off a of manga, which is still ongoing, apparently, since 2012, and it's five volumes. The anime is directed by Ta Taro Iwasaki and written by Sh Shotaro Suga, and the music's by... Nobuko Toda and it's by Studio Brain Space. It's one of the three series they actually did um, this uh, season. So they were really busy this season. And I think they're actually taking a break during the summer too, so go figure. Uh, and it, orig it originally ran from <clears throat> April 6, 2014 to June 22, 2014 with a total of 12 episodes in the end. Okay. One Week Friends stars our main character uh, Yu ha Hase Yuki who is a middle schooler and he wants to be best friends with his classmate Fu Fujimiya Ka Kaori. However, she keeps rejecting his offer for a friendship. He finds out later that this is because at the end of each week she loses all her memories of her friends. that she made that week and everything she did with them that week. She just doesn't remember it all. Um, anyone she converses with so, who aren't her friends basically aren't close to her or her family are all ex excluded from that. Okay. So you can... And at first I thought that that would be something that would just be a one-off thing and they just put that there for t to add drama and perhaps comedy. But no, they actually explain it later on, which I commend them for. I did not expect them to actually explain that at the end and actually make it a huge part of it. So I definitely commend them for that. The reason is because she ended up getting in a serious accident when she was much younger. And she was going to, uh, I guess, see one of her friends when it happened. And so she, during some trials and tribulations, she ended up losing her memories. Um, but to help her out with this, Hase gets the idea to get buy her a, a diary and she'll write all of her the stuff she did that week in with her friends in her diary so that she'll always remember it. And so the two of them end up becoming friends that way. It's actually a very simple setup, but it works well. Now, right here it has a balance of romance, even though there's really not any huge romance in it. It's more like romantic overtones, really. <coughs> mm. You know, although if there's a second season, they definitely could go that far, especially if there's like a time skip or something. So, yeah, but the series, there's not really a whole lot to say about it because it's so, such a simple concept and premise, but it works so well, okay. Uh, there's more characters than just Fujimiya and Hase, though, there's also uh, Shogo Kiryu, um, who is Yuki's reliable best friend with good grades. He appears as a cold person who's straightforward with words and often sleeps in class while treating everything else as a bother. He's my favorite character. He's so much like me. Like, he seriously the animated version of me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then there's Saki Yamagishi, who is a clumsy and forgetful girl in their class who is who used to be Shogo's primary school classmate. She used to be bullied due to her small stature in primary school and has since depended on others for for all matters, include especially Shogo who uh, during uh, elementary school, she depended on Shogo a lot. Um, and then there's Ku Hajime Kujo, who is a transfer student during the second semester, who is Kaori's primary school, 
who, who was Count Kauri's primary school classmate. He and Kauri promised to meet in the park the day before he transferred to a different school, to which Kauri never fulfilled due to her accident, which he didn't actually know about that, so he thought that she that she just betrayed him and she he found out in the series that that's not actually the case. Okay. So really, those are the like the major characters. There are lots of other characters they see every now and then, but they're not really worth anything, so I'm not really going to talk about them. Really, all the characters that are worth talking about, which are Yuki, Kaori, Shogo, Saki, and Hajime, are good characters in their own right. Even Hajime. Who I initially, who initially came off to me as a pompous ass, ends up becoming a pretty cool character later on in the series because he learns about what the truth about Fujimi, and thus he actually gets a little bit of character development. Okay. So yeah, the music in this series is quite good. There's, I mean, it fits. It's not phenomenal but it definitely works and there's also lots of scenes where there is no music which as I always say I think complements it even better than if there was music okay the animation is a mixed bag it's not the greatest I have to say um like it's decent in most in, in the series but it's not great it could definitely be a lot better okay and the, I do kind of like the art, although it's nothing mind-blowing. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. I re I guess that's all I'm going to really have to say about the series, though. I really enjoyed it, I and I definitely recommend it. I really hope there's a season two in the future. Maybe. And, yeah. So, anyways. Overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.